So this is the Dell Venue 8 Pro. One of the there's a couple problems with the Dell Venue. One of them is the um, lack of a video output, and the other one is that it's only got one micro USB port coming out of it. You can see it up in the corner here, and that's uh, how you do the charging, or it's how you get accessories. Um, so if you want to use a mouse or a wireless keyboard or a joystick, um, you can't be charging and using that uh, uh, those items at the same time. Uh, so it'll be running off the battery. Um, I've got a uh, a wireless keyboard and a joystick compared oh, off a hub, which I normally do when I'm running some games. Like I've got Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, when I'm running a simulation game like that and I'm using those peripherals, uh, the battery life is probably only about about three hours or so on the thing on the on the Dell. So this is a video on how to charge and. Uh, and use those peripherals at the same time using this one port. Um, there's a series of cables you have to buy to do that. Um, originally there was a, a plus port that was supposed to be promised on Amazon. It was about $35. Uh, but the company that was developing that and making that uh, canceled all the orders, so I didn't get a plus port. Um, and so, but luckily I looked on online and I, I have a series of cables that uh, uh, we'll do the job and you can get them. Uh, I'll put the links below uh, um, and they're about ten dollars for the three cables. They take a couple weeks to come. Uh, but they work pretty good. They allow you to use it and charge at the same time. So more of a, a desktop home scenario where you're able to to have power. So I've got the, the standard Dell charger um, and there's a I put a, a USB a data USB cable that I've hacked up and I took the data lines and spliced it um, put them back together for this demo to get it going, but I'm, I'm, what I'm going to show here uh, the data line is either green or white. I've, I've hacked up the green ones and then I put it into the standard data cable that comes and that's what's running back to this um, guy here. And you can see right now I've got it hooked up and it's charging. So if I were to just unhook it, it would go off charge and then I'll hook it back up and you can see um, it charges. Now, if I were to try to plug this into a, a computer port, uh, like a power supply, a standard computer, uh, that does not charge the Dell. Uh, a lot of chargers don't charge the Dell. Uh, my particular power pack that I don't have with me right here, uh, portable power pack, will. So it's, it's things you got to play around. Some will and some won't. And the reason for that is that when you plug these in, this port in, it uh, goes out and does a handshake, a USB handshake, and if it detects a USB device, it will not allow the Dell to charge. However, if it uh, detects a resistance on the between the pair of data lines, um, it's usually about 1.5K or so, which is what this, this charger over here, and a lot of the smart chargers, like some of the Android chargers, will have that. It's really the high-mode 2.1 amp um, handshake that tells you, hey, I can draw power. And so what I'm going to do now is, is just to show you that if I were to disconnect this, uh, just split these wires apart so that the data feed, you know, the data, I no longer have data lines. When I plug this in, uh, it will not charge. And of course, if I put the, uh, the data lines back together, so it's, it's looking for that resistance from this power supply. So, uh, you know, fortunately, once it reads that resistance and it puts it into charge mode, let me go ahead and and uh, take this, disconnect it. I'll just wire those wires back up again. Or I'll tell you what, it's a little tricky to do with one hand. So I'll just take that data cable I had out of the loop and just use the standard charger. So yeah, once it gets this handshake and it, and it says, hey, I don't have any peripherals, uh, I can charge, it uh, puts it in charge mode. So what, but fortunately once it goes into charge mode, um, you can disconnect the, uh, the data lines going into this uh, uh, port over here and then attach those data lines to another peripheral um, and it will not go back and check and work. And so as long as you plug in the power first and then plug in the peripherals, um, it'll continue to charge and you'll be able to use your peripherals and, and that's kind of a nice thing and sort of like a desktop. So you need a switch. I thought about wiring a switch in here, but when when I when I got my uh, plus port got canceled, and that's why I had originally built this cable and put a switch in, and then I'd, I'd do a hub or whatever. 
But fortunately, uh, what somebody online had a pretty good idea, and they have a link uh, to the Deal Extreme. I took a couple weeks to get the cables, but uh, this cable is a pretty standard cable. There'll be a, a USB um, micro, and then a regular USB on the other side of it. And what it's got, it's got a switch in here called Charger or Data. And if you leave it in the charger mode and you get it going, and then you flip it over to Data, uh, it'll disconnect those that that resistance. Um, and it will allow you to plug in a port at that time and uh, the hub. So this, that's the one cable it comes with. The other cable is this is a, a standard USB female split. And then it comes out with a, a female micro USB. And this happens to be an adapter. So it's actually a three piece combination that you have to buy all three pieces. So it's a, a male that goes into this, a female micro, which has a, the other half of it. And this is what you're going to plug into either a stick or your hub. Or anything else like that. So let me go ahead and, and put the camera down for a second while I recompile these items together into and what you'll do is you'll take now you'll take your your normal charger your Dell charger and you'll plug it into the female micro USB. So now I've got it running into that into the splitter. Here's your your USB for peripherals and it just goes through the wires here uh, let me make sure this is on charger and it is and then I'll take this end and plug it in to it and it should fire up with a charge and it does so it is charging and now I'll come over here I think you have to plug these guys in first and then turn the charger otherwise it works so I'm going to plug in a I'll plug in what I've got is a, a Amazon Hub 4 out with a wireless going to the keyboard, and this is my joystick. So um, what you'll see, I do have the keyboard on, but it hasn't, you know, hasn't registered um, yet. So I don't have that mouse uh, feature. You can put a mouse in there too. So let me switch it. I've got it over, and now I've got, I've got. You can see the mouse part of the keyboard flying around there. I can use my keyboard, Windows. Windows and still charging, so that's what I'm trying. To, you know, that's now it's in good mode. The, the bad part is if you, for some reason, uh, you were to lose your charge, you'll you'll have to do that flip switch again. Um, and it's about ten dollars altogether at Deal Extreme, um, so a lot better than the thirty-five dollar power port. Other than the power port, have probably had the electronics to do that some of that stuff. I think Logitech is eventually going to um, sell that power port for this device, but. Otherwise, nice, nice tablet, uh, nice Windows 8 tablet, and it does run uh, nice games. Um, so, but that's one of the limitations. I did have a, a Miracast, which is the wireless display to go to like your television, and that I turned it back in. That's about sixty dollars. It worked good if I were running a video um, or just using the desktop um, and running, wanted to run it on my like my big screen LCD TV. But what I bought it for was to do uh, um, Netflix, and unfortunately between the, the wireless Netflix coming into the device and the wireless going back out to uh, the TV, uh, it did not work well. Um, it was all ch skippy choppy, so uh, yeah, that, that limitation of a video port makes it uh, not good for sitting, in your, sitting on your couch and watching TV through Netflix through this device. Um, but it's not the end of the world, and it's a nice device to watch a, a movie on when you're mobile. Um, but anyways, that's my demo video. Um, good luck all, and that's a, a good buy for $10. See ya.